Hey, how's it going? And today I wanted to do a tutorial about log channels. And I'm doing this because I'm seeing code around that refers to log channels, but I haven't really found any documentation that talks about how to use them and where to find them. So I thought I'd just put this together and share what I've learned. So anyway, I'm just in a blank island template. And what we're going to do is we're just going to create a new verse project here. And I'll just call this Hello World. 33 and I already have the code written for this okay so here we go if you want to know more about the log channel it's actually falls within the temporary diagnostics module and if you just come in here and type in log underscore channel you should and press control you should go to it and you'll see it right here and it talks about it and you can try to make sense of this cryptic <laughs> wording in here there is a log channel and we're creating an instance of it and you can call this class that you create anything that you want. Whatever you call it will appear in front of any message that you print out from here. And the idea is that you know where this error is coming from then. It helps you to kind of pinpoint problems in your code. Then down here in your device level there's a what's called a log type and we create we basically create a channel of the log type and you can call this again anything that you want and I'm just calling it logger because that seems to be a convention that a lot of people use but you could call this whatever that you want to call it. Within this channel you can also set a default level and what was interesting to me to learn is that there's actually five levels. I wasn't aware of this. There's two places where these messages will print. One is to the output log. So, and that is down here, this tab here. It'll print down here. And then it'll also print to the log within your client, your Fortnite client. If I hit tab, I don't know if it's going to pop up or not. But yes, it does. You'll see there's a log up here as well. These messages will also print here. So as you can see, all of the messages will print here, but only the normal, the warning, and the error messages will appear here. The debug and the, the verbose messages will not appear on this log. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and compile that code, build verse code, and then drag my device into the scene and I'll go ahead and launch the session. It's gonna take a little while for that to take care of business. So, but going back and looking at this code, you don't have to have this section of the code here. I could just delete this and I'm not gonna get an error. So like if I go Control X, you could just do it like that. But if you wanna specify which level it's gonna be and to where your messages are gonna print, then you can come in here and specify the default level. So whether you want it to just go to the screen, whether you want to do debug or verbose, or you just want it to go to the output log, wherever you want it to go. And then here you don't have to have this here either, but if you want to, you know, specify a message more in the style of a warning or an error, and really the only difference between them is that normal is white, warning is yellow, and error is red. You don't have to use this specifier. If you use this specifier, it won't print to the output log in the Unreal Editor. It'll only print to the screen with these two. So anyway, so we'll take a look at this. Okay, so we can only see the log when we're in edit mode. I'm gonna go ahead and start the game. And we're not gonna see anything happen like we do normally with the normal print that we usually use. And then I'll just end the game. So it should have printed out those messages so now if I'm in edit mode and I hit tab, I can go to the log and you'll see all of these messages printed out. The default message, debug, verbose, normal, warning, and error. So this is one place where they print to. And if I jump into Unreal Editor here, I just get the normal, the warning, and the error. I don't get the, the debug or the verbose. The only reason I'm getting this message is because in the code here, I had specified 
the default level to be the error level. I hope you found this helpful. I just wanted to put something together because I couldn't find anything online that really explained how this all kind of worked. So anyway, take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.